I don't have an opinion. Oh, you advanced to level 5, dude. You missed uh, my attractive page. Okay, so many topics on government. I don't know, I'm not really a fan of politics. So, I don't know if I would be too excited. I kind of think it's boring. Like, I used to be interested in it, but then I realized none of it pertains to uh, life, and no matter how much you talk about it, nothing really happens. So, like, basically, unless you're, like, a crazy activist and you're going to be a politician, you aren't really going to do much in the political system. Like, besides voting. That's basically all the only power you have, and it's not that much either. But you should still use it. Ah, stop! Stop it, level. Just need the right time. Well, you gotta wait until after your you were doing navy stuff, right? Right, you gotta wait at after that so you gotta be like 60 something and you gotta be sure to run for office in other positions too you know then you gotta run for president in 2040 or 50 i don't know when's the right time actually let's be honest although 2050 i'm sorry but the president's just gonna be a robot at that point it's gonna be Robot Sanders is the Robot Sanders is gonna be the president because what's gonna end up happening is whoa what the heck splashed on the screen uh so first of all what's gonna happen is Bernie Sanders is gonna die right and then they're gonna take his brain put it in an AI and then the AI is basically gonna run for president multiple times and be president every single time. It's gonna be Robot Sanders. Trust me, it's gonna happen. And there's nothing you can do. He's gonna make Robot Socialism happen. Ow. Either that or the... You know, imagine a future that is just a future under China, dude. China's like literally that Black Mirror episode where you can rate people and then based on the, the, the people's ratings they can get houses, fly on planes and stuff like that. Like China literally has that system in place, well not in place, but it's like ex experimental. Like, if you jaywalk, you'll be, like, publicly shamed in China. <laughs> What's this app? Territorial expansion ideas. Well, I think that we should just invade Canada. I mean, it's obvious, right? They have oil, they have trees, and what are they gonna do? They're just drinking maple syrup on their Mounties. They're not going to be crap against the U.S. So I think if we invade them, and if, then we should be good, right? We'll get their oil, we'll get their trees, and their Mounties. So I think it's a... I think... No, Mexico? I think Mexico's alright. It's just... You'd have to do a lot of cleaning up in Mexico. Like, it's not that bad since Mexico isn't, like, the poorest country in the world. It's a pretty rich country. But it's, like, it's compared to, like, Canada. Canada has all the infrastructure and stuff like that. There's much work you gotta do. Mexico, though, you're gonna have to deal with those drug cartels. Um, their infrastructure, I think, needs, uh, to be improved. Mexico might be a project, you know? I say we invade Canada first. Let's cover our north side. Oh, wait, maybe we like Canada because they're good, um, they're like a good, they provide like a barrier from people invading us from the north.
So maybe we, that's why we want Canada, you know, like... So you know how, like, in Civ Five, you have those cities to, like... Uh... When you're being very aggressive against people, you have those cities that are in between your capital and their land, right? That's Canada. So we don't want to invade Canada because then we lose that. We, I mean, we don't, but if they're our ally, and they, they basically they'll, they'll protect us because we're allies, right? And so no one will invade us from the north because of Canada. Except terrorists. No, 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 I'm not talking about city-states. So, you know what I did to Loud, which is I settled a city right next to him? And that's because, oh, if I didn't settle a city, he could easily just directly attack my capital? That's what Canada is. Canada is that city that you put in between your capital and somebody else's capital, so you can defend your capital and base easier. That's what Canada is. Yeah, I mean, if you invade them, that's true, you still get that line of defense, but if you, it's, you won't get, you'd have to build it up, kind of, because once you invade them, they're, a, a lot of the infrastructure will be destroyed, and a lot of people will die there, and then you have to kind of, like, build up the defenses again, and in order for people to, like, attack Canada, they first have to declare war, in a way, and like maybe it's like people don't want to declare war in Canada, and they do want to declare war in like the U.S. You know, I don't know. That's just one, it's just an idea. I I I I'm just trying to explain why maybe we shouldn't invade Canada and instead Mexico. I think Mexico would be a good idea. Um, I think we should though also invade Cuba. Uh, although Russia might not like that. No, yeah, let's just invade Mexico. I mean, who cares about Mexico anyways, right? It's not racism, it's just like... We need more land here in the US. And it's like, Mexico has land, and that's rightfully ours. I mean, we're trying to manifest... It's, it's basically destiny. Destiny wants us to have Mexico's land. So why don't we have it? I, I don't know. I think PJ is a bit crazy. I think he should just consider his options. Like, do you want to invade Canada? Mexico? No, no, no. You want to invade Mexico. Like, it's just basically free. Like, they don't have nuclear weapons, I think. And their army isn't that good. I mean, if you look on the leaderboards, they, they're a bit low on the soldiers count. And while we're number one in the soldiers on the leaderboard, so it's just obvious. More like the military. And if we invade a Mexico, um, let me think. We'll have a better barrier in the south for invasions because it's owned by us instead of Mexico. Uh, okay. Um, we get we get tequila. We can make tequila, right? Uh, we'll get plus 10 nacho power, like, we'll make nachos much better. And tacos, right? So if we invade Mexico, we'll have better Mexican food, because we'll, we're making it. And obviously Americans make better Mexican food. I mean, look at Taco Bell. Is Taco Bell even American? I'm assuming it is. But besides that, um, if we invade Mexico, then that opens us to South America. And so that's also a good opportunity right there. Because we need to invade Brazil for their cocaine. And bananas. And it's not like they have a, a chance anyways. Like, there's... Brazil as a sieve isn't that... Brazil as a sieve isn't that powerful. Like, they always spawn in jungles, so it's like... They're not gonna do too well. Uh... And they probably have like 
they're probably really dip behind, you know? Brazil, because they spawn in a jungle and, like, improvements take forever. So it's like, it's pretty easy to win against Brazil. Bolivia for lithium. Oh, that's true. We do need lithium. Yeah. So we got cocaine, lithium. What else do we get from South America? Um, I mean, we get. I mean, we get all of their mines and stuff like that. So that's just nice overall. Yeah, green power is nice, dude. It's basically free energy, dude. But the problem with green power is that your corporations don't really approve of it, and if your corporations don't approve of it, you don't get your bribes, and so it's kind of nice to get my bribes, so I'd kind of prefer if we didn't actually go to green power. I prefer receiving money from the corporations that are paying me. So let's not go to green power, actually. And oil, like, it's so easy, right? But green power, you kind of have to invest in it. And, like, I don't want... we don't. Why would you invest in the infrastructure when, like, all the oil stuff is, like, already set up for you? Like, we already have all of it set up. Just... Mm, the largest dam. I mean, dams are nice and all, but one of the issues of dams is if someone attacks your dam, like if they blow up your dam, you're just screwed on power. I mean, there's just that to consider, so keep that in mind. If someone destroys your dams, you're just screwed. It's the capital, well defended. I... Well... Berlin was well defended. No, that's not a good argument. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, there's a difference. <laughs> Whoa, dude, I haven't... <laughs> ah. I, I almost just died there, okay. So the reason, I think the issue, I guess I, I guess it's not that big of a problem if it's in your capital. I mean, you kind of have the same problem with oils, like, countries can just attack your oil supplies. Wait, 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 well, what if they just, wait. No, that's stupid. Never mind. I was gonna say, what if they just block the river? Right? That to your capital? And so then, your dam will... Mm, no, that's... I know. No, your dam would still work. I don't know what I'm talking about. Because they would have to, like, have water go through the dam and stuff like that. Although... Wait, mm, I'm just trying to think about it, okay? This is a very hard... Like, I'm just trying to think of the downsides of a dam instead of, like, oil or solar. Oh, we got solar and wind as backup? Okay, that's good. I think then it's not as bad. By the way, thanks for the, uh, <laughs> follow Carlos is not gay 23. I just have a question. Is Carlos gay? Top 10 questions science can answer. Ooh. Dude, let's see if we can get like a god steampunk right now. Looks like no. Yeah. 
Once I get a good computer, which I'm gonna be investing in pretty soon, I'll probably get a really good time. But until then, I'll probably just suck right now. Like, we're plus 23 right now, which is not good. But to be fair, we can still PB because of our hell is kind of bad. By the way, Loud is worried about the fact that weapons and magic can be built in a mod pack. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm worried about it too. <laughs> Loud is very reasonable to be. It's very reasonable to be to worry that someone could just build a weapon that just like obliterate your base. And like, what are you gonna do? Build like layers of concrete in your base? Uh, as your base like no dude i want to make a nice pretty base i don't want to put my base at y level 20 under like 30 layers of concrete i'm just saying that's my thought process Oh, we start the server. Oh wait, dude, I can get a good time right now. I just need to get a good hell. Chances are pretty low, but... Captain, wouldn't you want this conversation to be in my YouTube videos? Well then... Let's hope I get a good time. Yeah, because that was a slow 9-3. But at least I didn't die. Dying is the number one. Dying is just not efficient for living, you know? You gotta be alive when you touch the goal. Well, not true, you can actually die. But, it's better if you're alive. Ah, crap, dude. That's like oh, 12 seconds slower. That might screw me up right here. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna post this if I... Keep... Oh! <laughs> Nah, now it's screwed. Sorry, Captain. This isn't gonna be PB. I got screwed over by a glitch. Because that's 22 seconds lost tonight. And, um... I only have, like... A, like... There isn't much I can do, basically, to get a good time right now. I mean, I could try my best, but... Holy crap, that clutch. You don't even know. Could do it, dude. Wait, no, we can't. Maybe we can't actually. Ah, oh, crap, dude, that was my chance of getting sub-20. Ah, uh, rip, dude. Oh, well. It was a good run, at least. Haha. <laughs> 
There we go. <laughs> I just knew I had to throw the cart truck there. So we got a PB, but it wasn't that good, honestly. But it's so close to sub-20. We just screwed up too much on one of the hell levels. <laughs> but dude, this this was a really great th <laughs> run, just because of what I talked about. I mean, I talked about invading Mexico. I talked about what what's the best stuff to do to, like, why you want to invade South America. Talk about, like, why a dam's, like, crap, not... It can have some, maybe some flaws. Like, I think this is a good one. Like, I think this is a good PB to some, like, put on my YouTube. Just because I think it's entertaining. Not because it's actually, like, a good run.